before the Miami Dolphins conducted practice at the Baptist Health Training Complex on the grounds of Hard Rock Stadium on Wednesday, head coach Brian Flores spoke to the media. Here were the highlights of that session. The Dolphins are going to take it day to day with Raekwon Davis. Brian Flores says he doesn't like giving timetables, saying he's personally dealt with injuries and understands about setbacks. Flores says the team will need to have very good execution against Buffalo and expects a bounce-back effort from the Bills. While acknowledging that things didn't go well against Buffalo in the 2020 season finale, Flores says the idea is looking forward. On the issue of improvising offensively, Flores stresses that everybody needs to be on the same page. Making corrections is the same coming off a win as they are coming off a loss, Flores says. Corrections are corrections. Flores has a lot of respect for Bill's trade Avius White, it's hard to get open against that guy. With Mike Jasicki getting only 21 snaps against New England, Flores said there were a lot of factors involved, such as situations, matchups, New England having the ball. We have a great deal of confidence in Mike. Every game is a little bit different. Asked whether he could definitively say that Raekwon Davis's injury was not season-ending, Flores reverted to his mantra of Davis working hard to get back and things being taken day to day. Adam Shaheen will be back today after spending the past week and a half on the reserve COVID-19 list. Will Fuller will be back at practice Wednesday and Flores says they'll know more about where he stands after they see him on the field. Albert Wilson had a good week of practice last week, and Flores says he's pleased with the work he's done. His role will be what he makes it. Regarding the first and 14 completion from Tua to Devontae Parker late in the New England game, Flores says, we always want to be aggressive. We're going to need to be against Buffalo. Liam Eichenberg gained valuable experience with his snaps against New England and Flores says he probably gained confidence with that. Noah Igbenogany was inactive in week one, but Flores said he had a good training camp. We have to have inactive players. That's a league rule. We'll continue to work hard. He's a hard-working kid. On this issue of Tua's development with his second and third reads, Flores says he's a young player who's getting better and better every time he steps on the field.